Hampton Roads. Experts and politicians agree the U.S. defaulting on its debt could have a big impact here in Hampton Roads because of our reliance on the federal government, but there is hope a deal will be worked out. It is a fact. There's a lot of uncertainty about what would happen if the U.S. defaults on its debt as it's never happened before. Nobody knows what's going to happen if there's a default. Dr. Bob McNabb, an economist from Old Dominion University, says it would create an immediate recession here in Hampton Roads and a depression if it went on for a while. With a default, all debts are off. There's no ability for the U.S. Treasury to pick and choose who gets money. And that means the Treasury would have to essentially engage in across-the-board cuts. Federal dollars represent about 40 percent of the economy in Hampton Roads. Whether it be from the military, defense contracts, or other jobs, our area could be hit hard. It would be like shutting down for COVID-19 in the spring of 2020. Catastrophic would probably be an understatement. Talks continue on raising the debt ceiling with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warning the U.S. could no longer be able to pay its bills by June 1st. House Republicans passed their own plan to raise the debt ceiling through next year while also making $4.5 trillion in cuts. The Biden administration has warned that could lead to massive cuts at the Department of Veterans Affairs, which they say would hurt veteran care. Republicans have countered that the administration is lying and that they have no plans to cut care for vets. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine says Republicans should lay out their plans in more detail. Show the American public the math. The House should pass appropriations bills that reflect their philosophy that we need to cut the budget. The Senate should pass our bills that reflect our philosophy. Then everybody can see what the options are. For now, the stalemate continues as economists say the clock is ticking. We should not risk a global financial crisis to make a political point. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.